Don't tell me how to think Don't tell me how to talk Don't lay your trip on me Cause you don't walk my walk Okay, the next product I highly recommend is you get you a carbon monoxide detector. Now, you if you have one of the smoke detectors that has a carbon monoxide detector in it, great. But a lot of smoke detectors do not come with a carbon monoxide detector. Why do you want a carbon monoxide detector? Carbon monoxide is a common... Uh, pollution that is put off by natural gas, propane appliances, gas generators, and from your vehicle exhaust, and any malfunctioning uh, appliance, even wood stoves, can put off carbon monoxide. Now, just recently, a couple weeks ago here, we had a family that was staying higher up in the mountains in a recreation cabin. The whole family started getting sick. They had no idea what was causing it. Luckily, a family member called up to check on them. When they told them what they were experiencing, the symptoms, they told them to get out of the house immediately and call the fire department. They called the fire department. Department, the fire department showed up and checked and the whole cabin was completely full of carbon monoxide. I don't know what the source of the carbon monoxide was, but if they'd have stayed around in there, most likely they would have passed out. Within a few hours, they could have died from carbon monoxide poison. And unfortunately, that happens all the time. Here in the U.S., over 400 people a year are killed by carbon monoxide poison and thousands end up in the emergency room with carbon monoxide poisoning. Okay, So you want to get a dedicated carbon monoxide uh, monitor like this. This one is sold on Amazon at a very reasonable price, uh, and I have tested and checked it out, it does meet OSHA standards. Now, what that means is how these work, uh, this will detect carbon monoxide up to certain levels where it would be considered dangerous. It will immediately alert you if there is a car if there's carbon monoxide detected over 50 parts per million. That is the OSHA standard. It will de it will detect that, and what it will do, it will flat, it will show this light up here, okay, that it has detected carbon monoxide. That is not considered a dangerous enough level that you need to immediately get out of the house or anything. It is basically warning you that there is some source of carbon monoxide. It may be coming from a window outside with a car, all the cars driving by, especially in the city, you can get a lot of carbon monoxide. Uh, but you may want to, you want to check because it's notified you that the light's on. You want to check and see if you can find out what the source of carbon monoxide might be and shut it off, turn it off or whatever. Have the appliances checked out to see if there's a carbon monoxide leak. Now, if the carbon monoxide builds up to 200 parts per million, which is the OSHA standard, that is considered a very dangerous level of carbon monoxide, then the alarm would go off. However, this one is actually set for 150 parts per million, so it is set a little bit lower than the OSHA standard, so it will alert you even sooner that there is a possibility of a very dangerous amount of carbon monoxide in your houses. When that is detected, then the alarm will go off, and it will keep going off, and to let you know that the, it has reached a dangerous saturation of carbon monoxide in your house, you need to get everybody out, get your pets out, and if necessary, if anybody's sick, contact the fire department. They may need oxygen. They may need to go to emergency room. Okay, why I like this unit, it's very affordable. It uses two triple a batteries they do not send the batteries you will need to get your own batteries i think in the listing it says double a batteries but it is two triple a batteries it goes into this unit it is small compact works very well i have tested it out it does have a test button so you can test it to check to make sure that it's working you should replace your batteries the same time you replace your smoke detector batteries about every six months you should replace the batteries in these uh, and uh, you know other than that just check it once in a while now one thing carbon monoxide is slightly lighter than air so it will rise up uh, as it's being released and so you want to put these up fairly high on the wall you don't have to put them right up next to the ceiling but fairly high on the wall away from where kids can possibly mess with it and take the batteries out for their toys and stuff like that but high enough up that it will detect the carbon monoxide as it is rising that is the best place for you